Hello, welcome to Blood Watch Church. I'm so glad that you are here. I have a question for you. Have you been written off? What I mean is, has someone determined that for whatever reason, you're not going to reach your goal? The reasoning could be based on something as frivolous as an outward appearance. You're too old, you're too young, you're too tall, you're too short, you're too black, you're too white, you don't have a good command of the language, you're not articulate enough, whatever. Has someone said you are not going to make it? It's a wrap, it's over. What do you do in that situation? You're going to do the same thing the woman in Luke 8.43 did, the woman with the issue of blood. If anyone had been written off, it was her. Her physician said, it's a wrap. There's no cure. They were basically waiting for her just to die. She spent all her money, but she didn't get any better. She got worse. And knowing human nature, I don't know if you've seen this before, but I've seen how cruel people can be when they think things are over for you. And in her case, people probably were like already planning. Well, I wonder who's going to marry her husband or... I like that dress, that purple dress. I hope I can get that dress. People planning and plotting because they're thinking it's a wrap. It's over. But the thing is, people did not know what was in her. They did not know that this woman had a spirit of faith. And I'm saying that that spirit of faith is in you. So this woman heard about Jesus, even though the situation in the natural was hopeless. In the natural, it was a wrap. But she heard something and she didn't even have the written word. Someone just verbally told her about Jesus, what he was doing. And she laid hold of that word. She would not let it go. And, and the classic Amplified Bible says she kept saying, she kept saying, if I may touch but the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. So this is what I want to say to you. Grab hold of a scripture and keep speaking it over yourself. No one knows what's in you, but you know. And the Holy Spirit is waiting to bring forth that which is in your heart. Lay hold of the word. Speak it over and over and over and over and over yourself. Grab that promise. And I'm going to say, even stand in front of that mirror and speak it. You might feel foolish, but speak it, speak it, speak it. The word tells us the eyes of the Lord, they roam to and fro. And he's looking for someone that he can show himself strong on their behalf. He's looking for someone that will dare believe his word and not let go and let the world see. It might have been a wrap with somebody else, but it's not a wrap with me. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you giving your time to tune in, and I will see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.